Hello guys, welcome to Bond Tech. Today we want to talk about section in Revit architecture. For architects, whenever you do buildings, you cut through sections to show details of your building. So today I want to explain how to create section on Revit. So let's go straight to it. For this part, I'm going to show how to create the substructure of the section. In another video, I'm going to show you how to create details on your roof. So let's go straight to it. On our floor plan, let's go through the building. Go to view section. Let's say, let's say we'll go through here. You can bring it down. You can change the section line. Uh, press this as you can see so if you don't want this line to across cut across the building plan you just separate it and you can drag it away if you like to and if you want to bring it back just one click and come back so let's leave it like this okay so you can adjust the range of the section where you want it to go, how far, how wide you want it to go, depending on what you want. So let's to view our section. You can go to the project map browser, click on section, see the name of the section, section one. You can change the name to whatever you want, or you can just double click one of these nodes and you take <coughs> and it will take you to the section. So this is our crop region. You can adjust it to whatever you want. Okay. Your grid lines, you can extend it up. Okay. So I will show you a quick one on how I do my section substructure. First of all, I create masking and I create um, detail region. Okay, for this now. Let's start with this. You go to annotate region. Click on region. Okay. You can create as much as you want. Let's let's just pick one. Edit. Duplicate it. I'll call this um concrete. Okay. I change the background opacity, the line width, and pattern. I'll call this concrete okay select the concrete pattern okay that's all okay you can go back duplicate call this um what do we call this hard call sorry hard call or you need to change the pattern whichever one you like to use Let's take this. Let me duplicate this. Okay. Let's leave it at three. Okay. And change the color to whatever color you want. Let's leave it at black for now. Okay. And duplicate again and call this. Uh, I like to call this foundation wall. Okay. Uh, I'll take this, okay. Uh, that's okay. Let me get another one for this. I call this that. Okay, so I'll go here, select the earth, earth symbol, earth uh, pattern. So for this, I like using a much more color that looks little bit real all right so with this we cannot start our region so first of all i'll start with concrete okay so wherever i have concrete i'm going to draw a line around it you can actually change the line thickness i prefer using medium for mine so we to have concrete here okay Okay, here to 
that's about it. This, one. this will be our little. So I prefer copying it to other places. Okay, let's do this multiple. Okay. So here we go, we're done with concrete. Let's finish. And that's all. As you can see, the concrete symbols are there. So next, I'll go back to region again. Let's see. Um, hardcore. Okay. Let's hardcore is normally this 300. So the, the thickness, the line thickness, you can, you can change it to whatever you want. Or I prefer using rectangular. Okay. Okay, that a lot. Okay, so next, uh, I will. I want to change this to one. Okay, so so this to one. Okay, so sorry. Before we start this, or after, you can actually change it visibility graphics of the wall so let's go to vg possibly for visibility graphics go to wall section change this to let's say six okay as you can see the thickness of the wall line has changed you can check my previous videos on how to use visibility graphics the graphics to make your work graphically to represent your work graphically okay so let's move on region uh, foundation wall here I will prefer using uh, let me see okay wide line yeah wide line so depending on how you like to represent your wall okay let's edit that one one okay and you can edit this to one one okay apply okay so let's edit that okay 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 and good so last one but not the least is the art what i would like to do here depend on how you want to represent i can use white line let me use thin line for this so i'll just sorry thin line depending on how you want to represent your own drawing okay finish I'll click on that, send to back, and as you can see it's at the background. Then for my NGL, I don't need to create or uh, I need one for that. I'll just use solid black or whatever color you would like to use. Okay. Okay, just copy that to here. All right, be done with our foundation superstructure section, whatever name you want to call it. You can go ahead, dimension, dimension it, whichever one you like. Okay. 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 <clears throat> all right guys so this is how to create your superstructure section you can detail you can call out and we're gonna do a video on the roof of the section watch watch out for my next video part two of this set of this video on how to do the roof the roofing members on Revit. And watch out for my call out upcoming video call out how to use call out in Revit. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and please stay safe 
wear your face mask, wash your hands always, keep social distancing between you and anyone who is having signs of coronavirus or fever, and be safe. Thank you.